All right, so where are voters going to face questions about limitations on abortion or uh, more permissive uh, structures for abortion in their states? Why it's in these states. Look at those states. Caleb, you're so super, giving us this great and groovy graphic. And you can see in those states, Maryland and Florida, it's already on the ballot. We've talked about it in Florida before. In all those other states, there are petition drives and measures going on to try to get it on the ballot. Now, um, why do you care? Who cares? Well, you care if you are deeply connected to this issue and it matters to you. But the other reason you should care is that this changes the electorate. And when I talk about changing the electorate, what I mean is elections aren't about what does everybody think. It's about what do the people who turn out to vote think. And in a presidential election year, about half of the people who are eligible, maybe 60 percent of the people who are eligible to vote participate. So elections are won and lost very much by who shows up and who doesn't show up. So now I want you to look at the 2020 exit polls in Arizona. This is the key state. So if you put it all together, 53% of voters in uh, Arizona in 2020 said that they were more pro-choice than they were pro-life, and it was 53-41 net net. Okay, so then look at this. Look at see here in 2022. What were the numbers? Oh, 62 to 35 net net. So you have a nine-point increase in the percentage of people who are voting pro-choice in Arizona. Why? Why? Well, two reasons, two big reasons. One is it's a different electorate in uh, a uh, biennial midterm election. Uh, they're more affluent, more likely to be college educated, da 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 da, more pro choice, net net. Now, so that explains some of those nine points. What's the big explanation for those nine points? Roe v. Wade goes down, the Dobbs decision comes in, and some people change their minds, move on that spectrum. But the electorate changes. People who might not otherwise have voted said, I'm going to come out and vote because this matters to me more now. It changes the composition of the electorate. Now look at this. Here are, here's the snapshot of where Arizona was and Arizona is. 2024, that's what the average is right now. You see it there on your screen. Trump's up by four points in our uh, uh, DDHQ averages. 2020 results, close, very close in Arizona. Are there enough, is there enough change in the electorate that could derive from having this on the ballot, especially if there is a, from the 1860s, total ban on abortion uh, that is the alternative? If this gets on the ballot, certainly. So this is hugely consequential for Republicans' hopes to flip Arizona back. Steyerwalt breaks it down. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.